Jesus said to go into all the world and make disciples of the nations. We are to be disciples who are following, who are growing, who are learning mm -hmm. of Christ. But then, as we go into the world, we're to make disciples of all the nations. Mm -hmm. Corey, I found that you just don't stumble into making disciples. That has to be something that's mm -hmm. intentional. Right. It's something that you, you purpose in your heart that you have to do. So mm -hmm. you come to a place of growth in your life right. where at first, you know, you're, oh, I'm learning about God, I'm growing mm -hmm. in Christ, and it's wonderful. But then God brings you to a place that says, okay, now you need right. to disciple others. Mm -hmm. You, in one of our previous sessions, you, you've used a word that I wanna come back and talk about a little bit and explore that word in discipleship okay. and disciple making, mm -hmm. and that's the word accountability. Okay. Uh, how does that play out in the Christian's life uh, first of all, we we also talked about we're not being religious. We're not. This is not a matter of trying right. to follow these rules and not do these rules. Right. But there are things we do and things we don't do. Mm -hmm. But where does accountability play into that? Where does God's grace play into that? How how does mm -hmm. all of that work? Okay, l l let's let's explore that a little bit in making disciples. Okay, accountability is. I guess an easy way to, to look at that is, is one day we're all gonna breathe our last breath. Mm -hmm. And on that day, we'll have to give an account after mm -hmm. that. And so we think in our journey here on earth, as we make disciples, as we pour ourselves in other people, we are teaching people the value of giving an account in daily life. That's really good, that's really good. You know, uh, I was in Scotland ministering and there was an article that came out. This was, oh, many years ago and the, the crime rate had, had really grown at that particular time mm -hmm. in Scotland. And there was a journalist who had grown up in the northern part of Scotland, which is very, very, uh, has a rich mm -hmm. Christ, Christian history. And he said that because the, <laughs> the uh, church and Christians had quit teaching about eternal accountability was why they had a crime right. Mm. And he traced the decline in teaching eternal accountability right. with crime in the community, right. which I, it was quite sure. interesting and it was much more mm -hmm. sophisticated than what I sure. just said. I mean, he had stats and all kinds of things that went with it, but it was a very interesting right. principle that when you lose a sense of eternal accountability, mm -hmm. And on this earth, you don't feel like you're accountable to anything. Right. And, and so it's, it begins with mm -hmm. that eternal accountability. Yes, it does. We're actually learning responsibility. Uh -huh. That we're responsible for our actions. We're responsible for the decisions we make. We know we can't be perfect. Right. But we're responsible to consider um, what the consequences could be if we were to make some of the decisions that we make without thinking today. Yeah. And, you know, Paul addressed this whole issue in, in the church, when the letter that he wrote to the church in Galatia, mm -hmm. because th they didn't understand this relationship between grace and works. Right. In other words, we, and, and this is so important for us. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are saved by grace. Right. But that doesn't mean that we just go out and do whatever we want and you know, live right. the way we want. We're saved by grace, and now sure. we're a people that love God and love others, so we, right. we, we, we have to apply that. So accountability, let's, let's get into the practicality of it. So you've got some people that are following you, that you're mentoring, that you're discipling, that you're helping them to grow in Christ. Mm -hmm. How do you keep them accountable? Well, you have to ask questions. Okay. And and you have to first of all, you set you you set the the foundation for them. And the foundation is always going to be authenticity. Mm -hmm. Is always going to be genuineness, being real. Okay. Don't wear a mask. Hey, we're all going to blow it here. But we need to come to a time when we can say, how are we doing in certain areas? And what we need at those moments are honesty. Whether we blew it or not, whether we pushed forward, we just need honesty because we learn through honesty because that's part, that's tied with humility. I was just about to go there. <laughs> that was my next statement was that humility 
then breeds honesty. Right. Honesty breeds transparency. Mm -hmm. Transparency makes it okay to be accountable. Right. So, you know, you can have someone that you, you talk to. I, when, when I was pastor in Germany, we met, I met with a group of men, and, and we would memorize scripture, but we were accountable. It wasn't like, mm -hmm. oh, you've got to do this, and right, nobody was going to sure. point their finger yeah. and beat them over the head, but we were, we were encouraging mm -hmm. one another. You bet. We were striving with one another. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a runner, and I, you'll, you'll appreciate this, but I read in Philippians, and uh, it was a very incredible passage. It talked about striving with one another. Mm -hmm. And I said, what does that mean? And when I began to research that word, mm -hmm. I discovered that striving was an athletic word. Right. It was an athletic mm -hmm. term. And it was used, in, and, and I mm -hmm. experienced something that showed me what it meant, and I think it goes to this accountability. Mm -hmm. uh, I was running 400 meters doing track right. and field for masters track mm -hmm. and field, and I'd been injured. So after my injury, I had to uh, run in a race in Louisiana, and I thought, mm -hmm. man, I'm gonna be in last place. You know, This <laughs> is bad news, because I've been hurt. Well, I went out, and there was a guy that was the fastest in the state. I knew I'd be nowhere close to him. Mm -hmm. But I thought maybe if I could hang with some of the others, I'd be good, and probably come close to last, but, right. but so anyway, let's take your marks, just take go. This guy who was fast, he took off, man, you know, he left everybody behind. But there was another guy that stayed right with him, and he was going. And then I found myself in third place. And, and I was, couldn't believe it. And now I was a pretty good way behind, so I said, just forget those two guys and I'm gonna run against the rest, you know, and see how mm -hmm. I do. So I, I, was, I was going along and I came around the final curve. Right. And I was in the lead. And then this guy on the inside pulls up next to me. And it's he and I in the lead. Now the two guys, remember, are still way up there. But the one guy who was the really good guy, he finishes. Right. But the guy right behind him he began to, you know, tire out. And so right. he, you know, everything came on him. He couldn't go. <laughs> and so this other guy and I caught him. And we were about 30 meters or 30 yards from the finish line. And all three of us were there. And when we saw all three of us, we kind of looked at each other. And something happened. We were all exhausted. But all of a sudden, we had strength. And we... <laughs> One of us took off, and the other took off, and the other, and we mm -hmm. started going, and we were striving with each other. What right. happened was, mm -hmm. I thought I couldn't go any faster. Right. But the guy came alongside me. And said, right. You can go faster. Yes. And then, and I said, mm -hmm. you can go faster, and we all took off. And right. That, that's what accountability right. is. It's not to put each other down, right. but it's to encourage each other to you do bet. more, to do better. Yes. So, so anyway, that 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 to me, that's what accountability mm -hmm. is. It's not. Uh, saying you have to do this, but right. it's coming alongside someone and saying, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. It's possible. You that's can right. do it. So yeah, anyway, I, it, I don't know if that's what you were thinking and mm -hmm. were, what, what you were talking mm -hmm. about when you're talking about keeping someone accountable. Right, right. It's that gleaning that strength where you are receiving energy from, from, from their journey. Yeah. from things that they're pushing through with, and you're striving together, you're doing it together. So, so we're not talking about um, something that's really negative, we're talking about something that's really positive. And I think when we talk about accountability, so many times we think of our report cards. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's mm -hmm. cool. Uh oh, you know, and a report card is kind of an accountability. But you know, if you did bad, I'm gonna, I'm, oh, I'm in trouble. But mm -hmm. that, that's not what it's all about. Right. Getting in trouble. Right. It's about someone saying, okay, right. hey man, you're struggling in this area. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Right. Let 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 me yes. help you. Okay. You're struggling in your relationship with your wife. Let, let let's pray mm -hmm. together. Let's talk about. We that. are better together. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. We're better together. That's as a good. So a disciple is someone who comes alongside. Hold someone else accountable, not in a negative way, but a positive way, mm -hmm. so that we become the people God wants us to become.